But what's definitely moved the needle for the real estate sector are changes of rules uh, by the Maharashtra government. First, it was the stamp duty cut, and now they have cut real estate premiums, construction premiums, by 50% till December 31st of this year. Uh, well, let's get an expert. Sunil Rohokali, the managing director and CEO at the ASK Group, is joining us. Good morning, Mr. Rohokali. Thank you very much for joining us and uh, a great 2021 to you. Uh, I mean, how much does this reduce construction costs? So, good morning, uh, Lata, uh, Sonia, and Anuj, and all the TV18, uh, 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 CNBC TV18 viewers. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, Lata, this is something which is much needed. Uh, stimulus required for real estate as a sector. Last five years, we have seen uh, prices going nowhere. The projects got continuously delayed, and the significant part is the capital stout. Uh, no, Sunil, <laughs> we, Sunil, that we know. Uh, we want to know what difference it makes. I mean, does it make a 10% reduction in construction costs? 15% what? So, typically, in a uh, non-Mumbai locations, one third is the construction cost. Mumbai, the construction cost is little less than one third. So, in Mumbai, this particular regulation is only applicable to Mumbai. Just to clarify, uh, this is not applicable to Maharashtra. Maharashtra premiums uh, are covered under Unified Development Control Regulation, which was announced uh, 15 days back. Uh, so this particular 50% uh, premium cut is only limited to Mumbai. And this would surely make two differences, Lata. That would make uh, anywhere between 5,000 to 10,000 rupees per square foot on the, on, the, on, the, on the cost side is going to get reduced by virtue of these premiums, depending on the, the location of the projects. That clearly means and this 50% is not free of cost, Lata. Let's be very clear. Whenever somebody is going to avail this 5% scheme, he has to give the 5% stamp duty concession to the customer. So the net construction cost would come down, but there would be a cost which developer has to shell out from his pocket uh, against the stamp duty to be paid by the customer. Okay. Uh, so what is your sense? I mean, because he has to pass it on, will home constructions, will home buying increase? Uh, will uh, unsold homes go up? I mean, uh, who are the beneficiaries now? So, Lata, everybody is going to be beneficiary. And I think this is a much needed part. Let me tell you, first beneficiary is going to be the end consumer. And, and I think the second beneficiary is the, the state government. And the last the beneficiary is the developer. So, it is basically meant for all three. And I'll tell you, explain why. If you want to buy a home, and if you are buying a home of a 5 crore, 10 crore, 1 crore, whatever that may be, and if you're going to have 5% uh, not going to be get charged with the lowest interest rate of 6.9% today, your affordability is actually enhanced the big time. So you are going to prepone your buying. So home buying would see a extraordinary enthusiasm, no doubt about it. As far as state government is concerned, they, are not, they have seen that the success by reducing the stamp duty by 3% in Mumbai and uh, the 2% in uh, the, uh, 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 2% in the rest of the Maharashtra, and they could be able to see the jump in the revenue collection. So their revenues have gone up. And who is ultimate beneficiary? The developers have started getting cash flows, and those are much needed cash flows to complete the projects. And those those projects will be become financially viable. And I think developers will be able to deliver those on time. So my sense is that this particular initiative by state of Maharashtra is so, so valuable at this point of time to turn this whole sentiment and to bring in this Goldilocks moment in real estate sector, in residential in specific. Sure. Sure. Okay, uh, Sunil, good morning. You said that there will be a 5,000 to 10,000 rupees per square feet reduction in cost. Will that entire cost reduction be passed on to the home buyer? As I mentioned, the reduction in the cost would be adjusted towards first is the stamp duty, which the developer has to pay on behalf of the customer. And second part is that surely there is going to be the cost reduction in the construction cost, which means to my mind at this point of time is a thing to see because developers today are very keen to have more sales, more cash flows, and they are not haggling on the prices per square foot. So I doubt anybody would like to hold these uh, savings back unless and until the project is financially unviable. So there are two things. To my mind is that we would not see a long period of time the price escalations in the market. Surely there's going to be a price reduction. 
or there could be no price escalation. So okay. there would be a steady okay. state of uh, uh, effect to that extent. Got that, Sunil. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, uh, so that's Mumbai-based real estate stocks. Uh, they have done well. So uh, I don't know if today's news uh, leads to profit taking or uh, momentum. The pre-open has settled.